What's going on guys? It's your boy Devin or Seven back here with a brand new video. Uh haven't been uploading for a while. I know that. I have came back with a graphic design tutorial video. Today we are gonna do something. We're gonna be making this profile logo right here. A very dope, cool gaming logo with Photoshop. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can actually create a profile logo. And it's very super easy. And so we're gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop. We're gonna go to file and go to new. And we're gonna make this the width 800 by 800. So the width 800 and the height 800. So go ahead and make that 800. Make sure it's transparent. So all right, so we got a transparent background here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the gradient tool by pressing G on your keyboard. And um, go ahead and make your guys' color black. Go ahead and make it black. All right, so go, we filled in the black, what a black background. All right, now we are gonna have to make a circle over here. We're gonna go and make the circle around this end. So to do that, we have to go to this our tool section, go over here next to the, the letter and make sure you right click. It should be a rectangle box around this. We're gonna use the ellipsis tool to use that. And go ahead and make a circle. It doesn't matter however you make the circle, because we're gonna fix that right now. So go up here on the top. It works as W and H. That means width and height. I'm gonna go ahead and make the width and height 332 px, and the height 332 px. And you guys will be able to break this. All right, now go ahead and go to fill all your guys' top um, instruction section here. I'm going to make that into that first square box. Okay, so you guys have that. Go to stroke, click on the box there. Click on the black one. Click on the white one now. On this white circle over here. And, yeah, so let's create the eclipse. No, cancel. All right. We're going to go ahead and make the PT 20. Press enter. You guys have this. All right, now we got a circle here. Press control T on your keyboard and resize it. So it fits in your guys' picture. Okay. We have this now. Press T on your keyboard and click anywhere. Uh, don't click on the circle because it's going to be connected to the circle. We don't want that right now. And go ahead and choose a font, a very cool font. So the font I am using is called Voice in My Head. I'll leave that font in the, in the description down below. So you guys will ha have it and use it. Uh, if you guys want to download any fonts, go to thefont.com. A very good way to download font. Go ahead and use white. And go ahead and use any letter you guys are going to be using. If you guys can use two letters, one letter. We're going to be using one letter. We're going to use the letter N because it's something different. I don't want to use my my uh, letter 7 because it doesn't look good. Like, you guys can add numbers too, but I don't like it. So I'm going to go ahead and add the letter N. So we'll go ahead and press N. Press OK on the very top. Press Control T. Go ahead and um, oops. I'm gonna drag this up. Go ahead and resize this so the corners of the the letter reaches outside of the box. Once the letters have reached outside the box, make sure to level level it out so that looks like it's leveled. All right, go ahead and press OK. Now go to your lips layer. Uh, I should say lips one, and go ahead and make that a retroactive layer. And it will, it will, nothing will change, it just changes the layer. Click on your font and go ahead and right click on the layer and go to Retroize Type. Once you guys have done that, click on your layer of your uh, letter. Make sure you be on the layer and do Control J and it'll copy it. So Control J copies and duplicates your guys' uh, whatever layer you guys are on. So now if you guys have done that, go ahead and hold Control on your keyboard. Click on the layer um, thumbnail of your guys' layer thumbnail. Make sure you guys are clicked on this one. Now, you guys are gonna go ahead and right click on the one you have selected. I should have these round ants going around the font. Go ahead and merge it down, and it'll be merged down. So, you make sure to don't click anything else. Make sure you have only click that. Now, go to the very top next to file. Slide over to select, go to modify, go to expand. 
make sure to expand it by 15 14 i'm gonna do 14 go ahead and do 14 if you guys want to be exact you guys can do 15 but we're gonna go ahead and do 14 so we're gonna have these things outline area of these ants i like to call them ants or like a trail ants or anything all right so now we have done that so we're gonna go ahead and do control x make sure you stay on this layer control x and then we have this around this and this is the layer we're gonna be using right here so now what we can do now is get one of our layer styles i'll leave the link layer style link down below so you guys can download all these layer styles and go ahead and drop the layers down like that so you guys can drop it on the thing you want so now we have this beautiful gradient that we have right here so now what you guys can do is go for the circle gradient it does have like a nice cool like metallic silver layer and we're gonna go ahead and drop this down and make sure i have this uh you know, i'm gonna try this one out yeah this is the one i was using now if you guys can see really really close hopefully you guys can see there's like a messed up area where it's kind of like cornered where it's kind of like an oval shape or like messed up if you guys want to make it more square yeah, it's gonna go to the toolbox and use the poly polygon um, lasso. Make sure to click and uh, hold on, let me just do this. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Control D. Uh, let's see. Control X. You guys will have this so it looks a little more cleaner you guys can have that so it straight it straightens it out now you guys have completed your logo if you guys want to complete the background how i have this background and this lighting here uh to do that is uh not difficult at all it just takes a little more few some more few more steps so to create this to fit together you guys can kind of hold to it look like how it moves with with the background uh, to do that, you have to put this in these two layers into a group. To make a group, it's Control G. You make this into a group. So go ahead and hold in your layer and drag it into the group. Get this other layer and drag it into the group. No, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, so go. Go ahead and click on the group. Make sure you're clicked on the group, and you'll be able to um, transform it together. Let's press OK. So to get that that wrinkled paper background. Uh, you guys just go into Google and just type in uh, wrinkled paper and I clicked the third one right here uh, and I just downloaded it just now and go ahead and open up a new file and open up that picture so once you're like open up with a new paper or a new file with the paper in it control A control C to copy it control A is to go around the whole thing and then control C is to copy it and now you guys go down here click on the black do control v now once you do control v it pastes on the image do control t don't worry about it right now go ahead and full size it it looks pixely it's because it's barely transformed out it's very like a, a small image so it'll have to be like that now go ahead and click on your black image drag it on top of the layer of your paper image you won't be able to see your paper image but now Later on, you'll see it right after we um, right click on the black layer and go ahead and go to blending options and go to opacity and just change the opacity about like a 90. Once you have it at 90, you guys will have this. It kind of looks similar now, but now we're going to have to get this, this lighting effect. To get that lighting effect, it's very, very super easy. Go ahead and go over here and create a new layer on top of your black layer and then drag this all the way up to the top of your group go ahead and press b on your keyboard to bring out your brush to change out the size of the brush is Control alt and then right click hold those all together and then move your diameter to, to make it bigger or smaller move it side to side go ahead and make a, like at least the diameter like a 905 and go ahead and zoom out using Control minus and Control plus to zoom in to change the color over here is over here so make this white and make sure to level out the brush onto the top you can also have the light in it. 
So if you guys, so if you guys like the guys' thumbnail, you guys can go ahead and change any color to it. Uh, I have different colors in these layer styles. Uh, if you guys have reached to the end of the video, thanks. Leave a big thumbs up if you guys like the video. Um, I tried my best on how to make this thumbnail very efficient and very easy for you guys. If you guys have any questions on how to make uh, a logo or if you guys need any questions on how to make the logo like look a little better, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. I'll make sure to reply back to you guys. And yeah, um, make sure to go share this video with your friends. Uh, I know I haven't been posting for a while, but I'll be posting more often throughout the week. And yeah, so this is how you make a logo. So thanks for watching guys. This has been your boy Devin or Seven. And I'm out. Make sure to subscribe because I'll be uploading more videos throughout this winter break. Peace out guys.